Hi, this is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, first, I would like to thank everyone who watches, who subscribes, who leaves me feedback, leaves me comments. It is appreciated. I thank you very much. Today, I am doing a reveal that really should have been an unboxing. It's a new item that I picked up from QVC. Of course, it's for uh, it's from Dooney and Burke. Um, I think I've had it for almost three months and was trying to not unbox it so that I could do it on my channel, but couldn't do it. So I've been carrying this bag for about the last month. And the bag that I am referring to is the Dooney and Burke uh, Wayfair, Camden Wayfair Tote. And the color is taupe. Now, um, actually the color of the bag is more of a um, khaki khaki tone with green with olive green undertones um, so nice neutral color with the you know with the brown trim um, my first venture into um, nylon uh, because uh, I don't uh, really purchase uh, nylon bags especially at these prices now QVC had a sale on this one this was hundred ten dollars it came with accessories. It came with a key fob and then also a pouch, which is really nice. Um, but normally, you know, I don't um, buy uh, nylon bags. Not because there's anything wrong with nylon bags. It's just that, you know, again, at this price point, I'd rather purchase an all leather bag. But this looked like something that, you know, I could fit into my lifestyle, especially when I travel. Uh, this is something that would, you know, work well if I am traveling by, by plane, which I will be in August. You know, I'll be able to put all my things in here, you know, magazines, water bottle, sweater, you know, uh, this, this, this should work really well for me. And then also, um, you know, it's lightweight, so it's not going to weigh me down. And then the other thing with everything going on now, you can wipe these bags down when you go out, after you come back from going out uh, with, uh, you know, uh, disinfectant wipes. It won't affect the um, discolor of the bag or, you know, uh, ruin the bag. So, you know, for these times, this is actually one of the better bags to have, um, in my opinion. So, let's get started. Uh, like I said, it is the... Um, Camden Wayfair now I, I'll put the correct description um, in the description box but I believe it's the Wayfair nylon tote uh, and I believe it's under the Camden um, collection um, and so this is the front this is the side this is the back this is the other side, and this is the bottom, it has four feet. Now the measurements on the bag are uh, 11 and a half inches high, 12 inches wide, six inches deep, so really good capacity. The strap drop is 11 inches, uh, and it weighs one pound, five ounces. As far as the measurements for the pouch, the, and it does attach, you can attach this to the uh, key, uh, to the key ring because it has this D ring right here. And that's what I normally do. And I usually keep my keys in it. So my uh, car keys and then my house keys, I keep that in here. But the measurements for this pouch are uh, four inches high, five inches wide, and two and a half inches deep. And believe it or not, the same items that will fit into my medium pouch will fit into this smaller pouch so uh, really really nice uh, so let me now what I was hesitant about about purchasing a nylon bag uh, because of the sheen you know some of them are really really shiny and I don't like that so this one does have a sheen to it but it's not that bad it's not that bad but you can see the sheen to the bag. Now, I do love the color because it is a neutral. It goes with everything. Uh, so I do like that. And I do like this front pocket right here. This front pocket goes all the way 
to the bottom of the bag and it will fit my phone. Now, I just purchased a new phone. I purchased the iPhone 11. So now I have my iPhone 6 Plus here to use for demonstrations or for videos. And this is actually bigger than the iPhone 11. But this does fit, the 6 Plus does fit all the way into this pocket and it will snap. Snap close so your phone would be secure in here if you needed it and it should accommodate an even larger phone and this one has the case on it so I like that uh, let me bring the camera down so that uh, can go into the inside of the bag now I am carrying this bag right now like I said I've been carrying it for uh, the past month and um, so it is but I just want to show you the uh, light, the lining uh, of the bag. I really like this lining. I think it's nice. The downside of this lining is since it has a, since it's partially, you know, a, a white based white color, it, it can get dirty. So um, that's the only downside. But other than that, I really like the lining on this. Um, so, uh, the back wall has a zipper pocket and the slip pocket below it. It's a standard Dooney setup. And then on the other side, you have your vertical pockets, the smaller vertical pocket here, and then the larger pocket there. And in that pocket, I have all the stuff that we need nowadays when we venture out. So I have my sanitizer here, I have my wipes here, here, I have my mask, I keep my gloves in my zipper pocket. I keep all of that there. And then, of course, I have my regular items that I carry. But that is the interior of the bag. And hopefully there's enough light getting in there so that you can see it. It's a nice size bag. Now, this will fit my iPad with the case that easily fits in. And I think I'm going to go from this side because that is where all the weight is. Yeah. And then of course I have my medium pouch. I can still get that in here. My smaller pouch. And then, of course, my wallet. All of that fits in without any problem. It's a nice bag. A nice bag. Let me show you. Now, of course, you put something like an iPad in here with a case. Um, it's going to add weight. Uh, still a lightweight bag, but it will add weight if you, um, you know, add heavy items uh, in the bag. But let me show you what fits, or what fits, how the uh, bag looks on me. Oh, and it's secure because it zips up. Nice red uh, zipper tape, so really nice. Now let me show you, take that, yeah looks like on me. For reference, I am 5'8", and I'm just going to move the camera around and up. Okay, one more time. And actually, I don't know why I keep moving it up. I need to move it down. <laughs> keep moving it up okay I think I got it okay so this is how it looks again 11 inch strap drop so you have plenty of uh, clearance 
And uh, like I said, it's really light. The only thing about that I noticed about this bag is, see this? See how it pulls up? And what I noticed that you have to do is you have to bring it down so that the straps, and even when you do that, uh, you know, and even when you do that, it still, you know, kind of distorts the bag. So that's, and I guess it's because it's nylon, so that's the one thing I don't like about it. But other than that, it's not too bad. Not too bad. And again, double straps. So you can easily get in, get into your bag while it's on your shoulder, get what you need, and keep going. So, let me just bring the camera back over. And up. Let me know what you think. I thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a great night. Thanks so much.